Welcome dear students to today's session of Summit for Max. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for further notifications. Let's get started. In today's session of Integral Calculus, the first problem we have is evaluate the following. Integral 1 to 4 f of x dx where f of x is equal to 4x plus 3 in the limits 1 to 2 and 3x plus 5 in the limits 2 to 4. So we can write integral f of x dx as integral 1 to 2 4x plus 3 into dx plus integral 2 to 4 3x plus 5 into dx. Now integrating we get 4x squared by 2 plus 3x within the limit 1 to 2 and 3x squared by 2 plus 5x in the limit 2 to 4. After simplification we get 2x squared plus 3x within the limits 1 to 2 and 3x squared by 2 plus 5x within the limits 2 to 4. In the next step, let us substitute the upper limit and lower limit. So we get 2 into 2 squared plus 3 into 2 minus 2 into 1 squared minus 3 into 1 plus 3 into 4 squared by 2 plus 5 into 4 minus 3 into 2 squared by 2 minus 5 into 2. Let us further simplify. We get 8 plus 6 minus 2 minus 3 plus 24 plus 20 minus 6 minus 10 after all your subtractions and additions we get the answer as 37 the next problem is Integral 0 to 2 f of x dx where f of x is equal to 3 minus 2x minus x squared when x is less than or equal to 1 and x squared plus 2x minus 3 when x lies between 1 and 2. Now integrating we get 3x minus 2x squared by 2 minus x cubed by 3 within the limits 0 to 1 plus x cubed by 3 plus 2x squared by 2 minus 3x within the limits 1 to 2. Let us substitute the upper and lower limits. So we get 3 into 1 minus 1 squared minus 1 cube by 3. And the lower limit is 0, so we have 0 here plus here the upper limit is 2, so 2 cube by 3 plus 2 squared minus 3 into 2 minus of the lower limit is 1, so we get 1 cube by 3 minus 1 plus 1 squared minus 3 so after simplification we get 3 minus 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 8 by 3 plus 4 minus 6 
minus 1 by 3 plus 1 minus 3. Here let us separate the whole numbers and fractional part. So we get 2 minus 2 plus 2 minus 1 by 3 plus 8 by 3 minus 1 by 3 which is equal to 2 plus 8 minus 2 by 3 which is 2 plus 6 by 3 which is 2. So 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. The next problem is integral minus 1 to 1 f of x dx where f of x is equal to x when x is greater than 0 and minus x when x is lesser than 0. So we can write f of x dx as minus 1 to 0 minus x dx plus integral 0 to 1 x dx. So we have a negative sign here. Using the property of integrals, we can interchange the limits as 0 to minus 1 to vanish that negative sign. Now integrating, we get x squared by 2 within the limit 0 to minus 1 plus x squared by 2 within the limit 0 to 1. Now substituting the upper and lower limits, we get half into minus 1 the whole square minus 0 square plus half into 1 the whole square minus 0 square which is half plus half is equal to 1. The last problem for today's session is if f of x is equal to cx when x lies between 0 and 1 and 0 otherwise find c if integral 0 to 1 f of x dx is equal to 2. So we are given that integral f of x dx is equal to 2. Value of f of x is cx within the limit 0 to 1. So substituting we get integral 0 to 1 cx dx is equal to 2. So integrating we get cx squared by 2 within the limit 0 to 1 is equal to 2. c by 2 is constant which can be brought out and now substituting the upper and lower limit we get 1 squared minus 0 squared is equal to 2. So c by 2 is equal to 2 therefore c is equal to 4. Hope the session was interesting. For much more, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.